let's deep dive into the amplifier. Double click on PM8500 block. You see complete amplifier architecture. This is a fixed architecture. On the left side, you see green color blocks. This green color blocks are input. On the right side, you see yellow color blocks. This yellow color blocks are output. Now we will rename input blocks first. My first input is music server. And second, just right click, select rename. And my second input is mic microphone 2. So first output is connected to event system and second output is connected to first floor launch. So just to rename the block just right click and select rename to rename the block. So now input connectivity is completed and we have connected the output. How do we route input signal to the output? So the routing is done using matrix mixer. Click on matrix mixer. So here you see this is our music server. I want this music server audio at event space and also on the first floor launch. Okay. So music server we have successfully routed to event system and first floor launch. For this demonstration, I'm not using any other inputs or outputs. The second mic, when someone speak, the microphone audio should come only at the event space, not on the first floor. So I have enabled mic to, to event space only. So this is how we will do routing input to output. So now, if you click at this input block, you have some option to boost the signal based on if it is a mic level or line level. So based on that, you can pre-amplify the signal. On the output section, you see what type of connection you have chosen. When I say connection, is it a mono or using each channel individually? When it comes to V-bridge mode, you are combining two channels to make work as a single channel. So here, first channel, we are using channels individually. We have eight output channels. Now, let us assume I have one more input named aux1. And this is connected to outdoor. Outdoor1 and outdoor 2. So how do I route the signal? Go to the matrix mixer. Aux 1 I want in outdoor 1 and I want outdoor 2. So the speakers whatever we connected if it exceeds more than 5000 watts and you have to bridge the two channels and make it as a single channel. So for that go to project view properties we are using third and fourth channel as output as a single channel v bridge click on v bridge close if you go to uh, program view here you see it is bridged so why we need to bridge two outputs when there is when output exceeds more than 500 watts then you have to bridge two channels to make it as a single channel and you have an option to connect 1000 watts capacity of speakers. Thank you.